to clean my skin first because she's dirty. She's dirty. She's very dirty birdie. I took my star face stars off. See the yuckies? Well, can you even see? They're there. We're gonna start with my base foundation, the Lancome Tone Ejol Ultra Wear is what I've been wearing. So basic makeup as far as foundation and blush, but I'm not going to contour how I typically would. With my foundation, I always mix some of the Studio Fix MAC 24 Hour Smooth Wear Concealer in the beginning. I just take some and roll it onto my hand, the back of my hand, just like that. Not too much. Then I take my foundation, I usually do a pump and a half. Then I use the LA Girls Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigment in blue and in yellow. I literally want the tiniest smidgen of this one, like that much. This is the back of a tweezer. <laughs> um, and then I just mix it up. And that's typically my shade. I forgot to glue my eyebrows down. You want these hairs flat as possible so that when you put your foundation over it, they don't loosen. Dry as possible, you hear me? You want them dry. I'm gonna take the one size concealer, then my beat up Charlotte Tilbury compact. Be confident in that glue down. But also keep in mind, you're gonna put foundation over this. I'll do the other eyebrow, hold on. And then just make sure, tapping in that foundation all the way. Just blend, 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 blend. I am breaking out, but that's okay. Blend all that in. Okay, now, here is my typical concealer routine. The slightest bit of one size, my under eyes. Then I'm gonna use Grace by Rare Beauty. I put it in that high point, but I'm gonna kind of bring it down because I feel like Betty's blush heavy with that like, you know, that dolly type of look. So I'm just gonna boom, 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 focus that a little lower. My nose contour. <laughs> Same Charlotte Tilbury powder, but then we're also gonna use our one size, but this is the wrong one. This is the everyday one. We're gonna get into that. Mm -mm -mm. And then you want to make sure you make that a nice flat layer of that powder. Rinse and repeat. Flat, smooth layers. Sm flat, smooth layers with the one size and do the same thing. I need there to be like no distinction between my eyelids because she just has like eyelid space. Like it's just eyelid, so... I don't want to like emphasize where my contour normally would be like, I want this to be like flat. House Labs. Dragon Fruit Day. I literally pinched my contact out on accident. But my favorite powder right now, loose powder, is one size. I just pick some up. There's an ice cream truck outside. Don't know why. It's 7 p.m. You just want these flat sheets of powder. You don't want lumpy, uneven powder. Her brow has this sort of super high arch, the opposite direction of my brow hair. Using the Milk Makeup Infinity Liner in black. The end is thick and then it just joins into the middle. That's terrible, but it's fine. Honestly, it's kind of what her brow looks like, except for this notch in the middle. I'm gonna take my eraser, my one size, my eraser. And I'm gonna get to erasing. Any flat brush will do, honestly. I just want this to be clean, so I'm just gonna Get some concealer and just use it as an eraser, honestly. But like over here is too thick to and powder that bad boy. Keep erasing till it's gone. You're gonna miss me when I'm gone. I forgot, forgot to mention, but blend out the edges from that new concealer you've added just so that it, it doesn't just become like a random patch. It doesn't look like patchwork. You wanna blend it in. You want this new concealer that you've used to erase to become like a part of what you have going on already. I like where we're at with the brows though. Let me just keep my, let me bring my new line back. Now I'm gonna go in with the Rare Beauty eyeliner. I love this eyeliner. I'm gonna do that with liquid and then I'm gonna do my other eyebrow. Honestly, this looks pretty close to her eyebrow. I just need to clean up there. Be careful cleaning up though, since you've set with powder at this point, if you're following what I'm doing. So just be careful when you're blending that out so that you have a flat end to blend that with powder later. Looking for my MAC feline. This is the 
blackest black I feel like I've been able to find. In the sense of just like a pencil liner that just glides on. I'm gonna give just like some generic eyeliner right now. Just like a cute little generic wing. Cause I got some that my sleeve. I'm gonna blend that with my finger just because I really don't want this to be a wing. But I do want it to extend out a little bit. A little bit under my waterline right here. NYX Jumbo Pencil, you, you've done some serious work. But we're focusing on that outer part, not pulling it all the way in. I'm gonna take my Inkblot White. I just want that white to really pop. Repeat on the other eye. Same Inkblot, 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 Ink, Ink. I don't know which one it is. Really wanna get my black underneath that though. I do want that like cartoon wrap around eye moment. So I'm just gonna take the black and place it directly under that white to like encapsulate the white. Finish it off with this little corner. And then I'm gonna bring this up and just repeat what we did on the other side. I don't want like a real wing, just like a, like a small flick and then bring it out with my finger. Like, I don't want a wing liner. I'm gonna take these Impress Falsies that I have in the shade, the shade. Out, like her lashes, they're very spaced out. So I'm gonna put one here and then one here and then one here. Let's try that. Well, that's Betty Boop. Oh, I'm booping the Betty. Now I need to do the lips. Um. I think it's just a red lip, but it's like a dainty red lip. That much of my foundation off, because I kind of could have used that. I feel like I just need to cut off this much of my mouth for the lip. I need to sharpen me pencil, because I got to get precise. So I'm going to do a really sharp... Mmm. Mmm. I'm just going to make it pointy. Me when I have a mustache? Then, I'm gonna pull it down almost immediately, because I need a tiny mouth, and I have nothing of the sort. And I'm gonna do the same over on the bottom. Ooh, it looks so tiny! That's gonna work. I'm gonna emphasize, I wanted to have that little look so maybe I think the bottom I think my bottom lips a little too big for this so I think I need to add a little more at the top okay I think I'm gonna just go with that and then let's add the red and see if it looks too crazy once I've added the red I'm gonna use this Valentino red she's just the reddest red I have and it's falling apart that's fine okay Ooh. I'm so Betty Boop I'm more Betty Boop than her that's so cute In struggle. Sorry. Okay. I'm kind of obsessed. Boop, boop, boop. Mm, that was a little. That was a little off. I'm gonna take my one size concealer, just a little bit of that, and a flat brush, and I'm gonna try to disguise my real mouth. <laughs> That's great. And then I'm gonna blend out and just really. Keep the hocus on that center. Like that's that's amazing. I'm so talented. It's not even funny. Don't laugh. Because I'm dead serious. Okay. I thought she had a beauty mark and then I put a beauty mark on mine in like 2019 and it was like a mandala effect. Everyone was like, she doesn't even have a beauty mark. I was like, yes, she does. Okay, so here's where we're at with the boop and Betty. I've got the hair on, but her hair is like flipped out. So I'm gonna just, this is a lace front that I just cut to make finger waves a long time ago and then like didn't follow through. So I'm gonna use my even lace bond. One second, my boyfriend's calling me. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna adhere this with some lace bond, but I'm filming the first episode of my fake podcast today and I need to film myself normally after. So this needs to be temporary. Whatever this is. 
Just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. Why am I tinting my leg? Like I really just need to be getting this on the leg and I'm doing everything but. And then just press that down, okay? Press that down. Press it down. Down she blurs. There she goes. Sounds like a Disney song. I think it's a Disney song called Darcy Blurs. I have my baby curling iron or flat iron here and Betty Boop's whole thing, her whole, oh, where's my picture of her? Her whole thing is the like flipped out, like de like, like they look almost like a horn. Like they look like this. So I'm gonna need hairspray. Got to be free spray is, free spray is, free spray is perfect for this. Some of these hairs might be actually a little too long, but let's start with, the ones at the front no i feel like that should be at the end sorry i'm gonna be a little crazy for the next couple of minutes y'all bear with me um the only comb i could find because i'm lazy like remember when your mom was 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 bumping your hair we're gonna bump it <gasps> oh wow super cutie patootert but what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna hold it and i'm gonna freeze spray it so that it stays in this like spiked manner and doesn't just like fall into the rest of my hair. This is gonna take forever, but anything for the glam and for the glitz and for the slay. Whoa, girl, I'm scared. So we gonna see. I'm confident that I can make a little something shaky wakey, eggs and bakey. Um, I'm just most certainly gonna try. If I get invited to any Halloween costume parties this year, I'm wearing this exact costume for every single one. Like what? Wig done, ready, pre-made, please. You're all absolutely getting the laziest costume I could have ever done. I got her little side curl perfect. I'm gonna do the rest. Sticking out her tongue for the pictures. You're so pretty, lady. I'm just gonna stack the hell out of these bracelets because she wears the, actually, no, I'm not gonna do that because I'm now realizing she just has two big gold bangles and I actually, and I actually have two big chunky gold bangles. So I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> no, I'm playing. I think Betty Boop should be covered in glitters and gold. So I have my, can't read the name, don't remember where I bought it from. But she's, oh, oh she's glittery, okay? Oh, hello? Me when I get humiliated in front of everyone? Normally she's real glittery. Hello? What the hell? fuck would you embarrass me with? Okay, this is the other one I have that I had to literally wrap up in tape because it leaks everywhere. Because she's so glittery. Maybe this one will... Well, yeah, okay. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Ooh! Oh my gosh! Oh! 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 Portable backdrop. And I'm going to show you how it works. It's actually pretty cool. I have these, but I'm thinking maybe make a lot of content like this and then green eyes, just in case people don't get it. Hold on. Both of my lights died, so now I need to charge them and then put in the contacts and then film. Oh no, I have to film them, put in the contacts. So I'm gonna take them both out. Pluck. Oh, 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 pluck. The teal ones are a little more cartoony, so I think they'll be better. Let's let's give her a go. Ooh! Is this too cartoony? I mean, I guess that's the point, right? I hope I don't regret this. The cool th the cool thing is these are prescriptions, so I can see. Um, and this one is backwards. <laughs> I was like, why do they look different? Boop, boop, be doop. And I almost flipped it again. I never struggle this much. You guys are supposed to help, not hinder me. This is crazy. Okay, now I need to match the eyes. So let's match the other eye.
Oh, almost. Boop, boop, beat